guys, welcome back. So we're back out the range with a brand new product that's available exclusively through Atlantic Firearms and AGS Armament. The rifle I'm talking about is this new Waffenworks machined or milled receiver AK-74. Let's talk a little bit about the history of the AK. When the AK was adopted in 1947, it went into service with a machined or milled receiver. That wasn't because that's how the Russians originally designed it. They had originally designed it to have a stamped receiver, but due to production problems, they were forced to going into production with the milled receiver. Once they got those kinks worked out of the manufacturing process, the AKM, or the AK Modernized, was adopted into service with a stamped receiver, and it quickly replaced the milled receiver guns in service. Now, one thing that we never saw from the Russians, at least in terms of a military rifle that was adopted, was a milled receiver to AK-74. The AK-74 came around in 1974, and by that time the Russians had been stamping their rifles for you know a couple of decades, and so they were going to continue on in that process. So what Waffenworks has done is manufactured in the United States a milled receiver that accepts a parts kit, like a Bulgarian parts kit, which you see on this rifle. So that's what we're going to take a look at this afternoon is a new Waffenworks AK-74 with the milled receiver. The rifle weighs 7 pounds 7 ounces without a magazine, which is only about 8 ounces more than a Sega AKM. All metal surfaces are finished in KG gun coat and have a nice matte black finish that seems to be pretty durable. I've seen no signs of finish wear around the ejection port due to firing. The barrel is US made and features a chrome lined 1 and 8 twist bore. The rifle does not feature an accessory rail on the left side of the receiver for mounting optics. If you want a red dot sight, you'll need to use a TWS top cover or something similar. The rifle is a pleasure to shoot. Recoil is non-existent and the Tapco trigger offers a good feel and a light, albeit long, trigger pull which is to be expected from an AK. Accuracy is quite good with 2 inch 100 yard groups being possible when using iron sights and Wolf 545 by 39 ammunition. Looking down the top of the rifle, the sights seem to be straight, which can't be said for all AK rifles. Even though the sights seem to be pretty straight, I did need to adjust my front sight a bit to the left to get the rifle zeroed at 100 yards, which is common. The rifle accepts any standard Bulgarian 5.45 by 39 magazine. Now the rifle will come with a Tapco magazine, and I've actually had pretty good luck with these Tapco magazines. They're not ideal for uh, my uses. I prefer to have a Bulgarian surplus magazine like this, which has steel reinforcements in it where the Tapco doesn't. But these magazines are great for range work, and you know, if need be, if you can't find the more expensive Bulgarian mags, they do fine for you know your shiznit hits the fan rifle. So, so the rifle comes with the Tapco, locks in. You'll notice there's minimal mag movement. It's not horrible. Bulgarian magazines also lock right into place, and again, even less movement, quite a bit less movement. The action of the rifle is very smooth. You can pull it back slowly and release it. You'll see there's no hanging up in the receiver at all. Some AKs, like some of the wassers and stuff, you pull them back and release them, and the bolt will hang. Not this rifle. It's a buttery smooth action, which is kind of typical of machined or milled receiver AKs. You'll notice here on the safety lever, it has detents for a full auto setting and a semi-auto setting. The rifle will fire in semi-automatic from either of these two settings. So it's just there for aesthetic purposes. Milled receiver AKs are a little bit thicker than their standard AKM uh, counterparts. And so when you take stocks like this Bulgarian parts kit that's meant for an AKM and put it into the milled receiver, it's not going to fit without modification. You'll notice that Waffenworks has taken some of the wood out of the stock here so it'll fit into the thicker milled receiver. That means you're not going to be able to put aftermarket stocks on it like this bone steel folder without heavily modifying the bone steel folder. You're going to have to take material out or you may not even be able to do it at all. It depends on your level of, of expertise with tools and things like that. But you're not going to find too many products that are intended for milled receiver AKs. It's one of the downsides to using a milled receiver gun. Field stripping this rifle is no different than any other AK. I'll show you how it's done really quick. Make sure that the weapon's clear. And then you push this detent on the rear, pop your top cover off, take your recoil spring out, just draws out to the rear, pull the bolt and carrier out of the receiver, rotate your bolt, take it out of the carrier. And then I've noticed that a lot of AKs requires a tool to remove the gas tube. This rifle is really easy to do. You can rotate this locking lever very easily, it comes right out, and the rifle is completely field stripped. Another neat feature because it has a US-made receiver and a TAPCO G2 trigger in it, 
is the fact that it has a real Bulgarian zigzag AK-74 style muzzle brake on it. A lot of folks like that. It is a chrome-lined muzzle brake, and you can tell it's a zigzag by the zigzag features in the front of it, meaning, you know, again, it's real Bulgarian, and some folks really like that feature. Putting it back together is just as easy. Put the gas tube on the rifle, pop it down in there, rotate your locking lever, take your bolt, carrier, slide the two together, drop it back in the receiver, put your recoil spring in, top cover on, it's ready to shoot. Well guys, it's time for some final thoughts on the Waffenworks AK-74 with a milled receiver. These rifles again are built on a Bulgarian parts kit. That means that the quality of the parts kit that they're built on is usually of pretty high quality. The Bulgarians make some of the best AKs out there. It has a US made barrel that's chrome lined and it has a 1 and 8 twist on it. The rifle overall, the appearance is very sharp, looks very good. The gun coat finish on all the metal surfaces is nicely applied. It's even, it looks good, it seems to wear pretty well. And then the stocks from the Bulgarian parts kit are not refinished, so they have some character to them. You'll see a few handling marks, ding marks, but overall the wood stocks are serviceable and look really nice on the rifle. Also, it has that the uh, Bulgarian zigzag muzzle brake. Some of you guys like that. It's on the rifle. has a TAPCO G2 trigger. So for $9.99, it's not a bad deal given the current price of AKs. And I, my understanding is, is Waffenworks isn't going to make a whole bunch of these, so it's fairly limited in numbers in terms of how many they're going to produce. If you guys have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page, or you can swing by our Google Plus page. I'll put links to uh, both those sites in the description below. Also, please come by the Bang Switch, which is our blog, and check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you guys soon. There we go.